Hi everyone! We once again witnessed a Barca player picking up a terrible injury during international break. Be sure to write in the comments below how do you feel about such matches. Also, don't forget to leave us a like. Without further ado, let's get the show on the pitch! PSG's 17-year-old midfielder Warren Zaira Emery will be out of action for the rest of the year due to an ankle injury he sustained during France's 14-0 victory against Gibraltar. Arsenal are likely to beat Real Madrid in the race for Juventus striker Dusan Vlahovic. Both clubs are going to buy the Serbian in the winter. The Serbian national team booked itself a place at the Euro 2024. The Eagles finished second in Group G, which was won by Hungary. Wolverhampton Wanderers have already begun their search for a new goalkeeper to replace Jose Sa, who has recently emerged as the target for representatives of the Saudi Pro League. Inter Milan's contract with experienced right-back Matteo Darmian will be extended until the summer of 2025. Liverpool are keen on signing Boca Juniors' young left-back Valentin Barco. The Reds see him as a long-term replacement for Andy Robertson. Atletico Madrid centre-back Axel Witzel has offers from Saudi Arabia, but wants to stay with Los Colchoneros, waiting for a new contract offer. Erling Haaland's injury, which he received in the national team, turned out not to be serious. The Norwegian could be available for Saturday's clash against Liverpool. Ren have officially parted ways with Bruno Genesio. The position of the team's new head coach was taken by Julian Steffen, with whom the Red and Blacks previously won the French Cup. Chelsea and Manchester United are monitoring Brighton's 19-year-old striker Evan Ferguson. However, they are both still far from making an official offer. Arsenal boss Mikel Arteta has asked the club to rival Newcastle and other competitors for Al-Hilal defensive midfielder Ruben Neves. West Ham United are looking for a new century forward who could arrive in the winter. Bournemouth's top scorer Dominic Solanke is considered the main priority. Romelu Lukaku has become the first player in the history of the Belgian national team who managed to score four first-half goals. It happened during the Euro 2024 qualifier against Azerbaijan. I'm hoping it's not very busy, because I think the job that was done has been quite interesting and aggressive, and most of the clubs, I believe, have what they need," Saudi Pro League director of football Michael Emilano said. The 40-year-old former Italy striker Fabio Quagliarella has announced his retirement from professional football. His last club was Sampdoria. Real Madrid are frustrated that key team performers, Vinicius Jr. and Eduardo Camavinga, have sustained injuries while on international duty. The Spanish powerhouse is accusing UEFA and FIFA for its overcrowded fixture list. Fiorentina are enjoying the performances of the Brazilian central midfielder Arthur Melo, though the Violets do not have the money to buy his contract out from Juventus. I haven't felt this good in a long time. I'm sure I definitely feel my strength and fitness building up again. My body gave me a warning, but I didn't listen in the past. I am more aware now when something is screaming, slow down a bit," Rhys James told. Jadon Sancho has received a big money offer from an unnamed Saudi Arabia club. Borussia Dortmund and Juventus are interested in bringing him in on a loan deal. Gabriel Jesus has fully recovered from his injury and is already training with the Brazil first team. The Arsenal forward could be involved in action for the upcoming tie against Argentina. Mauro proposed to me to get married again, after 10 years together. We haven't defined anything yet, but it was nice to receive his proposal. I assume the wedding will be held in Argentina. The only thing defined at the moment is that we will spend Christmas in Europe." Vandanara shared. Al Edifak, known for recruiting Jordan Henderson and Jorginho Wijnaldum, intend to acquire Arsenal midfielder Thomas Partey in the January transfer window. New Manchester United co-owner Sir Jim Radcliffe, who owns Nice, is hoping to bring in centre back Jean Claire Tedibas to Old Trafford. I'm happy where I am. I'm focused on Man United. I don't look at rumors and also I don't pay attention to them. Today, it's very easy to spread rumors in the press. I prefer to concentrate on my goals. Bruno Fernandes commented on Saudi Bits. Starting from the 2025 26 campaign, the ratio will be 1.8 to 1. This means that the Premier League champions and the rest of the clubs at the top of the table will earn even more money than they do now widening the gap between them, the mid-table teams, and complete outsiders. In January, Barcelona are set to cut short the loan deal of Pablo Torre, who has played just 119 minutes for Girona. The club will try to find another team for the young midfielder. After the first half of the season, Bayern Munich are plotting to offer Manuel Neuer a brand new contract. But first things first, Di Ratten are gonna evaluate his game form. 
Real Betis intend to sign Real Madrid goalkeeper Andre Lunin, who is set to become a free agent in the summer. The green and white see him as the team's new number one. Borussia Dortmund's main goalkeeper Gregor Kobel picked up a muscle injury while on international duty for Switzerland. The exact recovery date is still unclear. Chelsea have joined the race for Real Betis' 18-year-old prodigy Hassan Diao, who has netted two goals in seven La Liga fixtures this season. Bruno Fernandes is trying to convince Benfica talent Joao Navish to join Manchester United in the summer. The Confederation of African Football has increased the maximum number of players to apply for the upcoming Con 2023 in Ivory Coast from 23 to 27. Hvicek Vratilia was given a yellow card for arguing with the referee during Georgia's clash against Spain and thus will miss the first leg of the Nations League qualifying playoff. For the first time in its history, the national team of Portugal finished a qualifying campaign for the Euro unbidden, having 10 wins out of 10 with a goal difference 36-2. Jan Anderson, who has been coaching Sweden since 2016, will not continue his job. Sweden fails to qualify for the 2024 European Championship. All right, let's move on to the main news of the release. Manchester United legend David De Gea, who still remains a free agent, seems to have found himself a new club to play for. The Spaniard turned down an offer from Al Nasser, despite lobbying from his former teammate Cristiano Ronaldo and the promised 500,000 euro salary a week. De Gea's wife has no intention to go to Saudi Arabia, making it the most important factor for rejecting the Saudi approach. Inter Miami, Lionel Messi's current stop, also wants to see De Gea in their ranks. Moreover, David Beckham is already working on the idea, while the parties are getting closer to sealing a deal. 17-year-old super talent Andriuk could have joined not Real Madrid, but another top club. Back in November 2022, PSG offered Palmeiras 93 million euros for two of the team's most prominent performers, Andriuk and Estevao. Chelsea were also active in their pursuit, calling the player's family to London and offering excellent financial conditions. Still, Huni Calafat played a key role, not to mention Andriuk's desire to play at the Santiago Bernabeu. In the summer of 2024, Barcelona will once again return to the idea with securing the services of one of Real Sociedad's leaders, Martin Zubimendi. Xavi is a big fan of this player, and the club considers his signing to be a strategically important step in the project's development. The 24-year-old midfielder has already made his dream come true by playing for his boyhood club in the Champions League. Barcelona hope that it will be easier to persuade him to join the Blaugrana squad after that. The head coach of Georgia, Willy Sangal, claimed that his team star, Hvicha Kvartshilya, has options among the biggest clubs in the world. Kvara is already playing for a top club like Napoli, but there are giants of world football like Real Madrid, Bayern or Barcelona interested in him. Playing for these teams is a dream for everyone. All footballers hope to be able to wear such an important shirt and to be able to win big titles. Barcelona are also working out all the scenarios under which the club will have all what it takes to register the team's new striker, Vitor Roque, already in January. The Barca Studios deal remains a key opportunity to make it happen. Two investment funds, one of which is Mexican, could complete the highly complex transaction. Nevertheless, the Catalan Goliaths are looking at other ways to make the Brazilian signing a reality. If everything goes according to plan, Roque will travel to Europe on January 6th and officially begin his period of adaptation at Barca. An unfortunate incident happened during the game between Spain and Georgia. In the middle of the first half, one of Barcelona's leaders, Gavi, used his chest to block the ball, but failed to deliver it further and ended up examining his knee. The young midfielder was leaving the pitch in tears and was spotted walking out from the stadium on crutches later on. According to preliminary data, Gavi's injury is as serious as it could be a rupture of the cruciate ligaments of the right knee. Gavi could be out for six to eight months. This means that the ongoing club season is over for him, as well as his participation in the Euro 2024. The fact that everything looks quite bad for Furia Roja's talent was obvious even back in the same game. Ferran Torres, who scored one of the goals, held up Gavi's jersey as a sign of support during his celebration. Guys, check out the suggested videos from our other projects and stay tuned to the Football Club channel. Take care and see you in a bit.